Hello everybody, this is Asian Persuasion, but you can just call me David. Today I'm going to be opening an Ikoria Layer of Behemoths a booster box. My box got here a little bit late uh, because of the whole coronavirus thing. Uh, my shipment didn't come in on time to the store that I ordered from. But, nonetheless, it's here now, and I'm excited to open it, and hopefully you guys will be excited to <laughs> watch me open this box. So we got the box topper. Alright, we'll go ahead and crack that first. Do, do, do. Carefully. Never know if I'm gonna want to repack this. <laughs> and I got a baby Godzilla Ruin Reborn. Oh, let me check the uh, quality. This is my first time doing this, so the lighting and uh, camera quality is gonna be a little bit shabby, but we'll work with what we got. So, Baby Godzilla, Ruin Reborn. Very nice, very nice. I love the art in this set. I really did. Oh, let me put these over here. They really went all out to try to make some great looking cards. Right, and we will jump into our first. Uh, gonna be going pretty quickly through the commons. Gonna be looking at the uncommons and rares and mythics pretty much. Only well, those are the exciting parts of the packs anyways. Alright, so we got a Reptilian Reflection. That is an interesting enchantment. Okay. A Neutralize. The counterspell of the set. Um, Frill Skill Mentor. Menace Counters. A Offspring's Revenge for a rare. Uh, it's a Mardu at the beginning of combat. Create a token. That is a copy of a card in your graveyard. Ooh. Alright, I have to exile whatever it is, but that's interesting. I like graveyard shenanigans. Maybe I'll end up doing a Mardu graveyard deck. Oh, I am going to be going pretty slowly through all of these. A lot of these cards I haven't seen before, so. Yeah. I ended up with a Plains and a Human Soldier token. Alright, um... Let me rearrange where these are going again. Alright. On to the second pack. i try to keep track of how many I'm opening. Alright. Cathartic Reunion. I like that art. Under Divine Arrow. Glimmer Bell. Survivor's Bond. Bushmeat Poacher. Taggy a tiger, heightened reflexes, sleeper dart, convolute, another counter spell, uh, unexpected fangs, monstrous step for the first. Let's see, uncommon, um, interesting sorcery. Given a creature plus seven plus seven and forcing another creature to block it until the end of turn. Ooh, that's a nice art on the regal leosaur. Looks like a pretty aggressive mutate card. The Dire Tactics, an excellent piece of removal. Happy to get that one. Ooh, and a Yadaro Wandering Monster. A legendary creature, dinosaur, turtle with trample haste, and of course, cycling. Cool. Ooh, and a Swiftwater Cliffs as the land. That's interesting. I thought they were only doing, didn't realize they were doing things other than, oh, and I got to a token sheet. <laughs> a um things other than basic lands in the sets. Alright, let me make sure I don't do these. Um, Alright. Moving on. Third pack. Solid footing. Frostvale ambush. Spell eater Wolverine. Humble naturalist. Mutual destruction. Facet Reader, Night Squad Commando, Flycatcher Giraffarid, <laughs> Light of Hope, Rumbling Rock Slide, Footfall Crater. Let's see this one. Enchant a land. It has target creature gains trample and haste until end of turn. Ooh, good art on the Glowstone Recluse. Mutate four. Uh, whenever it mutates, put two plus one plus one counters. Uh, Duskfang Mentor, when it enters the battlefield, put a lifelink counter on a non-creature. And then, 
which you can tap or pay some mana to put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control with lifelink. That's pretty good. Ooh, here we go. Dranith Magistrate. Um, yeah. I don't know. These cards are fine. I mean, the effect... Oh, uh, man. Yeah, that is a lot of glare there. The effect, uh, your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. Um, I don't know. Uh, these kind of have to exist, I guess, because... Wait, let me adjust the lighting a little bit. I think these kind of have to exist because white um, is, I mean, we know all the jokes about white, but I don't know. I definitely don't like it. All the decks I play are graveyard, <laughs> but um, has to exist, I think. All right, Dismal Backwater. Nice. I'm happy to get dual colors, even if they're not like shocks or any of that. And a cat totem token. Let me actually separate these. Alright, and I did just realize that the lighting was pretty off for the card, so hopefully you've been able to listen to what I've been opening. <laughs> but we'll see if the lighting is a little bit better for these. Let's see. Yeah, okay. And the focus, of course, is bad as well, but oh well. Got a frenzied raptor, imposing avantasaur, gust of wind, ferocious tigerilla, a Survivor's Bond, Bush Meets Poacher, Far Finder, Coordinated Charge, Excavation Mole, Suffocating Fumes, that's okay, a Majestic Oricorn as the first uncommon mutate for whenever this creature mutates, gain four life. That's fine. Uh, another white one, Splendor, M Splendor Mare, lifelink with cycling, and when you cycle it, put a lifelink counter on target creature you control. Okay, there we go, some synergy with the Duskfang Mentor there. We have Insati Insatiable Hemophage, 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 Mutate 3, Death Touch, whenever this creature mutate, each opponent loses X life, and you gain X life for X is the number of times this creature has mutated. That's a powerful effect. I'm a pretty big commander player, so maybe we'll build a burn deck with that one. We got Snapdax, Apex of the Hunt, as our first mythic. All right, legendary creature. One, two, three, four. F mutate for five. It's got double strike. Whenever this creature mutates, it deals four damage to target creature or a planeswalker and opponent controls, and you gain four life. Fine, fine card. Don't know how powerful it would be in commander, but we'll see. Yeah, a lot of these cards I am judging from a commander perspective. I don't play a lot of standard or any other formats. Pretty, I'm pretty new to the game in general, but yeah. All right, got a Bloodfell Caves and Human Soldier. All right. We'll move along to the next pack, pack number five. Oh boy. <laughs> All right. Let's move that over here, actually. All right, here we go. Another Glimmer Bell. Pyroceratops. Manned Serval. Serval? Uh -huh. Gust of Wind. Honey Mammoth. Serrated Scorpion. Another Far Finder, a Spring Jaw Trap, Excavation Mole, Migration Path as the first uncommon. Uh, that's... I like that. That, that, that that's a good card. Search your library for up to two basic land cards, put them onto the battlefield tapped, and shuffle your library. Because green definitely needs more of these effects. Alright, uh, Valiant Rescuer. Whenever you cycle another card for the first time, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier token. Alright. Pretty good. Ooh, I was hoping to get this one. The Bone Yard Lurker. Mutate 4. When this creature mutates, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. That is a great effect for the decks that I like to run. Ooh, and a nice rare here. Mythos of Neth Nethroi. Destroy a target non-land permanent if it's a creature, or if uh, green-white was spent to cast this spell. Very cool. 
And we've got... Ooh, another rare foil. Karuga the Macro Sage. A dinosaur hippo. It's a companion. Um, as the starting deck has to contain only cards with CMC 3 or greater and land cards. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card for, card for each other permanent you control with CMC 3 or greater. Alright. Might be have to be making a... CMC3 or greater deck pretty, pretty soon here. Alright. They are going to be... Wizards of the Coast is going to be announcing some changes to the companion mechanic pretty soon. If I... Uh, I believe so, at least. Uh, if I'm wrong, uh, you didn't hear me. Didn't hear that from me. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Interested to see what they decide to do with that. Because I have heard it has been destroying other formats. Alright, so we got a Perimeter Sergeant, Thieving Otter, Spell Eater Wolverine, Wilt, Bushmeat Poacher, Heightened Reflexes, Sleeper Dart, Convolute, Unexpected Fangs, Essence Symbiote, and here we are with the Jubilant Sky Bonder, uh, Flyer, Creatures You Control With Flying Have, Spells Your Opponents Cast That Target This Creature Costs Two More To Cast, that's a pretty good effect. Ooh, Zagoth Crystal. Uh, this is the... These are the Mana Rocks they decided to print for this set, I think. And that's gonna find a home, probably, in my uh, Muldrotha deck. <laughs> the... Oh, goodness. Archipelagor. Okay, Mutate 6. Whenever this creature mutates, tap up to X target creatures, where X is a number of times this creature is mutated, those creatures go to sleep. Uh... That's a pretty strong effect. Um, yeah. Sleep on a stick. Recurring. I like that. Oh, the first Triome. It is for Jeskai. The Raugrin Triome. Island Mountain Plains. I love the art on these. So, I don't know. I haven't been looking at the prices for these. I've heard they're pretty expensive, but I have no intention of selling any of these cards, so I'm just happy to pull them. And a Thornwood Falls. Ooh. Companion, uh, token. Whoops. Getting my stuff mixed up over here. Alright, next pack. Thieving Otter. This looks like one of the better commons in the set. When it deals damage to an opponent, draw a card. Uh, go for Blood, Spontaneous Flight, Bristling Boar, Lurking Deadeye, Light of Hope, Rumbling Rock Slide, Aegis Turtle, Mysterious Egg, Corpse Churn, Clash of Titans. Target creature fights another target creature. Oh, so... Oh, that could be a lot of fun in multiplayer games. Uh, Sonorous Howlbonder... Menace. Each creature you control with Menace can't be blocked except by three or more creatures, okay? Boon of the Wish Giver. Draw four cards. Or cycling for one to <laughs> cycle it. Oh, another Karuga, the Macro Sage. Okay. Uh, mountain and a token. Gonna probably be speeding this up a little bit. <laughs> I've been halfway through the box, I think. Alright, so we got here a Phase Dolphin, another Cathartic Reunion, Divine Arrow, Wilt, <laughs> uh, Lurking Deadeye, Mysterious Egg, Corpse Churn, Flycatcher, Giraffid, Pacifism, uh, Blister Split, Spit, Gremlin, a Pouncing Shore Shark. I like that one. Uh, shark Beast. Mutate for four. Whenever it mutates, return a target creature and opponent controls to its owner's hand. Uh, pretty strong. Uh, Huntmaster Liger. Whenever it mutates, other creatures you control get plus X, where X is the number of times this creature mutates. Plus X, plus X, where X is the number of times it's mutated. Pretty solid. Uh, channeled Force. As an additional cost to cast this spell, discard X cards. Target player draws X cards, and Channeled Force deals X damage to up to one target creature or Planeswalker. Um, 
Yeah, this could go in my Kess Dissident Mage deck, perhaps. And we have the Frontland Felidar for the rare Vigilance. Creatures you control with Vigilance have one to and one in tap to tap another target creature. Nice effect. Um, all right. Nothing too exciting to write home about just yet from these packs. All the good stuff must be at the bottom. <laughs> uh, go for Blood, Divine Arrow, Wingphone, Pteron, Adventurous Impulse, Dark Bargain, Heightened Reflexes, Aegis Turtle, Unexpected Fangs, Essence Symbiote, Light of Hope, and we have Easy Prey. Um, just, I uh, recognize this effect. Destroy a target creature with CMC2 or less, or you can cycle it. I'll probably be cycling it most of the time. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor. Oh boy. Blitz of the Thunder Raptor deals damage, uh, it's an instant, uh, to target creature or planeswalker e equal to the number of instant and sorcery cards in your graveyard. If that creature or planeswalker would die, exile it instead. Okay, cool. We have the Teamer, Katria Crystal. Cool. Unpredictable Cyclone is the rare. Okay. Enchantment. If a cycling ability of another non-land card would cause you to draw a card instead, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile a card that shares a card type with the cycled card. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost, then put the exiled cards that weren't cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. So it is, um... Cascade... For cycling, right? Yeah, I think. If I'm remembering. I'm still pretty new to the game. <laughs> but uh, that's really cool. Um, Definitely great. I don't know if this already comes in the Commander Precon. Oh, why are those going over there? But I did get all five of the Ikoria Precons for this set as well. So if that's not already in there, it definitely belongs in there. The Just Guy cycling one. I would assume. Alright. Next pack. Uh, Imposing, Ventasaur, Startling Development, Frenzied Raptor, Checkpoint Officer, Humble Naturalist, Dark Bargain, Survivor Spawn, Unlikely Aid, Death of Shimmer, Crustacean. Alright, Swallow Hole. As an additional cost to cast this spell, tap an untapped creature you control. Exile target tapped creature. Put a plus one plus one counter on the creature tapped to pay this spell's additional cost. I gotta read this again. <laughs> As an additional cost to cast this spell, tap and unt. Okay. Exile target tapped creature. Put a plus one, plus one on the creature tapped to pay this spell's additional cost. Oh, okay, I get it. Um, It is a sorcery. Um, That'd be really cool if it was an instant. Um, Zagoth Mamba. <laughs> Whenever this creature mutates, target creature and opponent controls gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. Uh, Looks fine. Um, one mana, one one. Uh, pretty easy to get this thing on the board. Savai Thunder Main. Whenever you cycle a card, you may pay two. When you do, it deals two damage to target creature, and I gain two life. Ooh, another one of the Jeskai Triomes. This one with the full art. Very, cl very neat. I think I will be making. I'm going really slow through this pack opening, <laughs> so I think I will be making another video. Um, just showing off the uncommons, rares, and mythics that, oh, how these uncommons end up in this pile, that I was able to pull. Alright, uh, Perimeter Sergeant, Thieving Otter, Sp Spell Eater Wolverine, Garrison Cat, Fully Grown, Durable Coil Bug, Bristling Boar, Unlikely Aid, Coordinated Charge, Cloud Piercer, Charge of the Forever Beast, as an additional cost, I gotta reveal a creature card, and it deals damage to target creature or planeswalker equal to the revealed card's power. Okay. Uh, this is a Grim Dancer. It enters the battlefield with uh, my choice of two different counters on it from among Menace, Death Touch, and Lifelink. Kind of adapts to what you need in that situation. Cool. Got the Mardu uh, rock here. 
Oh, the Ozolith. Legendary artifact. This is a this is one that um I was hoping I'd get. Whenever a creature you control leaves the battlefield, if it had counters on it, put those counters on the Ozolith. At the beginning of combat on your turn, if the Ozolith has counters on it, you may move all counters onto target creature. Very nice. And we got... Yep. <laughs> it's the end of the pack. Okay. Solid footing, Frost Lynx. Tentative connection. Fertilid. That's a good one. Serrated Scorpion, Ram Through, Blitz Leech, Farfinder, Springjaw Trap, Sanctu Sanctuary Lockdown. Humans get plus one plus, humans that I control get plus one plus one. I can pay two and tap two untapped humans I control to tap a target creature. Okay. Ominous Seize. Whenever I draw a card, put a foreshadow counter on it. I can remove eight foreshadow counters from it and create an 8-8 blue kraken creature token. Okay. It's a lot of cards to draw, but um, seems good in a cycling deck. Auspicious Starix. Mutate for six. When it mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile X permanent cards, where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. Put those permanent cards onto the battlefield. That? Um... I like that. I like that effect a lot. All right. All right, here we go. The first ultimatum. Team here. Genesis ultimatum. Look at the top five cards of your library. Put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield and the rest into your hand. Then exile this. That's, I mean, just, I like that. It's a great effect. A foil thwarts the enemy. Um, Prevent all damage that would be dealt this turn by creatures your opponent's control. It's fine. A swamp and a catbird. <laughs> Startling development, forbidden friendship, honey mammoth, durable coil bug, breaking claws, hampering snare, blood curdle, thwart the enemy, Batagia tiger, swallow hole. Oh, already here. Swallow hole. We know that one. Weaponize the monsters. Pay two, sacrifice a creature to have this enchantment deal two damage to any target. Yeah, it's like a fling for uh, uh, recurring and for even like sacrifice tokens and stuff. That's cool. I like that. Uh, legendary humans you control have indestructible. General's Enforcer. Legendary humans you control have indestructible. Pay four. Exile target card from a graveyard. If it was a creature card, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. Very cool. Ooh, two ultimatums in a row. The eerie ultimatum. I think this is the best one. Return any number of permanent cards with different names from your graveyard to the battlefield. Like, all right, seems like a fun and balanced effect. Got a foil perimeter sergeant. Island and some more tokens. Snare Tactician of One Mind, Ran a Stinger, Almighty Bushwag, <laughs> Mutual Destruction, Pacifism, Bluster, Blister Spit Gremlin, Facet Reader, Night Squad Commando, Flycatcher, Girafferid. Alright, here we have Sprite Dragon. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, put a plus one plus one counter on it. Yeah, seems fine. Reconnaissance Mission. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. That's pretty good. Cunning Nightbonder. Spells with flash you cast cost one less to cast and can't be countered. Okay, that is an effect for sure. Uh, we have the Mardu Mythos. Each player chooses an artifact, creature, enchantment, and planeswalker from among the non-land permanents they control and sacrifice the rest if... Uh, Rakdos was sent to cast the spell. You choose the permanence for each player instead. Got a uh, another dual land and a human soldier. These mythoses, they are strong. Alright, I'm just going to be skipping the commons from here on out. For the sake of time, we're going to go straight to the uncommons. I think we've seen enough of the commons. Reptilian Reflection. Uh, it's a one we've seen before. Oh, Zenith Flare. 
uh, for this card is pretty cancerous in standard right now. I probably don't have to go <laughs> over what that does. Uh, Barrier Breach. Exile up to three target enchantments. Oh, that's a nice one. Extinction Event. Choose odd or even. Exile each creature with CMC cost of the chosen value. That is a great board wipe. I think. Maybe. Um, could be too, uh, situational. May possibly, but I'm definitely going to try that one out. Uh, Neutralized Foil. Jungle Hollow. I really like that we have, uh, dual lands. Not just basics. Um, and these packs definitely need more of those. For, I mean, for my collection, personally. Right, we'll be skipping through, skipping through. Ooh, that's a nice art on the new Evolving Wilds. We have a Titanoth Rex. 11-11 <laughs> Trample. Uh, when you cycle it, you can put a trample on it. We have the... Oh, wait, why can't I remember? Uh, <laughs> this isn't Bant, this is... Uh, oh, my goodness. I really don't see this combination that much. But here we go. All right, and the Endotha Crystal. It's the white, black, green mana rock. Flame Spill. Uh, deals four damage to her creature. Excess damage is dealt to that creature's controller instead. Ooh. Garuda Doom of Depths. Companion, your starting deck contains only cards with even converted mana costs. Nice. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, each player puts the top four cards of their library into the graveyard. Put a creature card with an even CMC among those cards onto the battlefield under your control. Cool. Really strong effect. Uh, got a feather. <laughs> Tranquil Clo Cove. Ah! Dropping stuff over here. Alright, here we go. Bum, ba -dum, bum, bum. The Majestic Archorn, full art. Seen that one before. Savai Thundermane, seen that one. Unbreakable Bond. Return target creature from your graveyard to the battlefield with a lifelink counter on it. Aww. <laughs> we have <laughs> King Kong, Kogla the Titan Ape. When it enters the battlefield, fights up to one target creature you don't control. Whenever it attacks, target artifact or destroy target artifact or enchantment defending player controls and pay two and return target human you control to your owner's hand to my hand it gains indestructible until end of turn that's a fun one might build a mono green deck with that as the commander mono green humans solid footer Alright, Mystic Subduel. Flash, Enchant Creature. Gets minus two, minus zero, and loses all abilities. Seems good. Another Zenith Flare. Insatiable Hemophage. Another one of those. Full art. The Slither Wisp. Whenever you cast another spell that has Flash, I draw a card, and each opponent loses a life. It's a cool effect. I don't know if it is great enough to earn a spot in, command in a Commander deck, but... Maybe a Demir Flash? Is, is Demir Flash what uh, is going on in this set? We'll see. Um, okay. Uh, here we go, here we go. Another Sprite Dragon. The Exuberant Wolf Bear. Whenever it attacks, you may change the base power and toughness of target human you control to Exuberant Wolf Bear's power and toughness until end of turn. So... I guess if you have a lot of counters or good stuff on one of your humans and you've buffed this thing up, you swing out with both of them and you swap them. I don't know. Eh, it's okay. Another Blitz. Got the Teamer Triome. The Wind Scarred Crag. And some... Tokens. Alright, any day now with this pack. Commons and we would anticipate. No, that was reprinted. All right, trumpeting Nar. Mutate for five. Whenever it mutates, make a three-three uh, green beast creature token. Solid. Chittering Harvester. Mutate five. Whenever this mutates, each opponent sacrifices a creature. Ooh, that is nice. That is nice. I'm like, I like that. 
Back for more. Instant. Return target creature card from your graveyard to the battlefield. When you do, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Um, yeah. Great for big creatures. <laughs> Coming back. It's a six mana for a... Um... Uh, what's the name of that card? You know, for the... Ah. Uh, reanimate. For the reanimate effect. So, whatever. Ooh. Lutri the Spell Chaser. Already banned in Commander. <laughs> so, uh, companion. Each non-land card in your starting deck has a different name, so I guess it will be here for my brawl deck. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, if I cast it, copy target, instant, or sorcery spell you control, you may choose new targets for the copy. Very strong effect. Um, I understand why it was immediately banned. Um, great card. Get these packs out of here. Or, oh, no, oh, already open packs, excuse me. I want to get my unopened packs out of here. Fight as one. Instant. Choose one or both. Target human creature you control gets plus one, plus one, and gains indestructible until end of turn. Target non-human creature you control. Okay. Nice. Rooting Malak. When it enters the battlefield, exile target card with a cycling ability from my graveyard until the end of my next turn. I can play that card. For five mana. Seems pretty slow. Polywog Symbiote. Each creature spell you cast costs one less to cast if it has mutate. Hmm. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if it has mutate, draw a card and discard a card. That is a... S I like that. Oh, we have the Mythos of Brokos. We're getting all the Mythoses here. <laughs> If uh, Zamira was spent to cast a spell, search your library for a card, put that card in your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Return up to two permanent cards from your graveyard to your hand. So not uh, so a very slow effect, but great value. And it is a uh, tutor. Since, oh, yeah, it is a tutor. If you can spend the right mana, if you can spend Sultai for it. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, ba ba ba. Oh, oh boy. Excuse me. All those commons are putting me to sleep. All right, neutralize. Frail scale mentor. Seen this one. Escape protocol enchantment. Whenever you cycle a card, I can pay one. When I do, exile target artifact or creature I control, then return it to the battlefield under its owner's control. That's powerful. I like that. Ooh, we have the Sharknado. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, create an XX blue shark creature token with flying, where X is that spell's converted mana cost. Yeah. Cool. Um, very strong. Big mana deck. Or, big mana cost deck. X costs. Got a Reconnaissance Mission, already talked about that one. Another Teamer Crystal, Flame Spill. Sky Cat Sovereign. Uh, it gets plus one, plus one for each other creature with flying. It can get huge. You can pay four, create a White Cat Bird Creature Token with flying. Neato. I'm not that big of a token guy myself, but maybe there's enough in this set for me to be able to make one. Make a duck. Another one of these Malaks. Another one of the Night Bonders. Lead the Stampede. With the top five cards of your library, reveal any number of creature cards from among them. Put them in your hand. Ooh, okay. Second, only our second mythic. Alright, so Riel the Everwise. Legendary creature, human wizard. It gets plus one plus zero for each instant and sorcery in the graveyard. Whenever I discard one or more cards for the first time each turn, draw that many cards. Okay, so might this might be the uh, commander that I want for my uh, is it deck that I've been trying to make. Got a foil mountain. Come on. Phase Dolphin, Pyroceratops, Bristling Boar, Aegis Turtle, Mysterious Egg. Oh, I forgot I'm not going through the commons anymore. Horn Bash Mentor. 
When it enters the battlefield, put a trample counter on target non-human creature. You can pay three and tap. Put a plus one counter, plus one, plus one counter on each creature you control with trample. Okay, similar to that uh, lifelink effect that we saw from that other card. Whenever you cycle another card, put a plus one, plus one counter on Flourishing Fox. Heartless Act. Choose one. Destroy a target creature with no counters on it. Seems solid for two. Uh, remove up to three counters from target creature. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. The Luminous Brood Moth. I'm very happy I pulled this one. Uh, whenever a creature you control without flying dies, return it to the battlefield under its owner's control with a flying counter on it. Awesome card. A Foil Channeled Force. Scoured Barons. Yada, yada, yada. We're almost to the end here. Very excited with the cards that I've pulled so far. Another Horn of Bash Mentor. The Proud Wild Bonder. Trample. Creatures you control with trample have. You may have this creature assign its com combat damage as though it weren't blocked at all. Huh. Good, I think. IV Elemental. Um, for your X cost tribal. It enters the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it. <laughs> Another Snapdax, but this one is full art. Um... Yeah, not too excited about this card, gotta be honest. Uh, foil? Pyroceratops. <laughs> Momentum, Rumbler. When it attacks, if it doesn't have first strike, put a first strike counter on it. When it attacks, if it has first strike, it gains double strike until end of turn. Cool. Primal Empathy. Enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card if you control a creature with the greatest power among creatures on the battlefield. Otherwise, put a plus one plus one counter on a creature you control. Lore Dracus. Excuse me. Mutate for two. When this creature mutates, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Seems good. Ooh, Titan's Nest. At the beginning of your upkeep, look at the top card of your library. You may put that card into your graveyard. Exile card from your graveyard. Add um, colorless. Spend this mana only to cast a colored spell without X and its mana cost. Cool. So anti-X synergy. <laughs> but uh, great for getting out those big cards. Okay. <laughs> Here we are. Avian Oddity. Uh, flying. 2-4. Cycle for 3. When you cycle it, put a flying counter on target creature you control. Seems good. Bastion of Remembrance. When it enters the battlefield, make a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses a life, and you gain a life. That is great. Um, yeah, I like this card for the <laughs> berm deck that I'm going to make. <laughs> All right, another Jeskai Crystal. Dirge Bat is our rare. Mutate for six. Flash Flying. Whenever this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker and opponent controls. Seems good. Sonorous Halbond, have we seen this one? Escape Protocol, a good card, but we've seen it channeled force. Okay, Death's Oasis. Whenever a non-token creature you control dies, put the top two cards of your library into your graveyard. Then return a creature card with lesser CMC than the creature that died from your graveyard to your hand. You can pay one and sacrifice it to gain life equal to the greatest CMC among creatures you control. Um, okay. Seems fine. Nothing too exciting there. Mm -hmm. 
We got a Will of the All Hunter. Instant target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. If it's blocking, instead put two plus one, plus one counters on it. Clash of Titans. We've seen that one. Splendor Mare. seen that one. A rare Crystalline Giant. Crystalline Giant. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose a kind of counter at random that Crystalline Giant doesn't have on it from among all the different uh, effects or whatever. Put a counter of that kind on Crystalline Giant. Very cool. Still a going. Whoops. A keen sight mentor. When it enters the battlefield, put a vigilance counter on target non human creature you control. Pay one in a white, tap it, put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control with vigilance. Alright, so I'm getting the getting the theme here. Necro Panther mutate for four. Uh, ooh, when this creature mutates, return target creature card with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Nice. Porky Parrot uh, mutate for three. This creature deals. You can tap it. This creature deals X damage to any target where X is the number of times this creature has mutated. Ooh, we got the blue Mythos of Aluna. Create a token that's a copy of target permanent. If well. Uh, Gruel was spent to cast this spell. Instead, create a token that's a copy of the permanent, except the token as when this permanent enters the battlefield, if it's a creature, it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Cool. Love those mythoses. Ooh, I see something shiny back there. Ahead of myself. Regal Leosaur. Mutate for three. When it mutates, other creatures get plus two. I think we've seen this one. Yeah, that was one of the early ones. Necro Panther. A Zagoth Crystal. Another one of the Fra Frondland Felidars. And we got a Foil Winoa Joiner of Forces. Very nice. Okay, wait, where are my comments going? Whenever a non human creature you control attacks, look at the top six cards of your library. You may put a human creature card from among them onto the battlefield, tapped and attacking. It gains indestructible until end of turn. Put the rest of the cards on the bottom of your library in any order. In a random order, excuse me. Great. Cool. Another Titanoth Rex. Another Boon of the Wishgiver. Here, Parcel Beast. Mutate for two. Uh, one and tap. Look at the top card of your library. If it's a land card, put it onto the battlefield. If you don't, put it into your hand. That's a nice effect. The, ooh, Zagoth Triome. Very happy to get this one. Yeah. Ooh, a Foil Unlikely Aid. Avian Oddity, Flourishing Fox, a Spacious Starks, a <laughs> Nethroi, Apex of Death. Okay, and a Hampering Snare. Foil. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, did I even read all of these? Yeah, we've already seen all of these, <laughs> that's why. Down to our last two packs here. The Wingspan Mentor. The Skull Prophet. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't read this effect. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, put a flying counter on target non-human creature you control. And you can pay two and tab it. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each target creature with flying. On each creature you control with flying. Skull Prophet. Uh, this was good. Uh, I was hoping I would pull this card. I can tap it to add black or green. And I can also tap it to put the top two cards of my library into my graveyard. Storm Wind Caprador, flying. If damage would be dealt to it, prevent that damage. Put a plus one, plus one counter. If non-combat damage, excuse me, would be dealt to it. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each one damage prevented this way. Cool. Ooh, the Endatha Triome. The Huntmaster Liger as a foil, uncommon. Here we 
go. Last pack. There is one card that I was really hoping to find, but... And we'll see if we were lucky here. Okay. Migration Path. We've seen that one. Valiant Rescuer, we've seen that one. Sanctuary Smasher. Uh, first Strike, cycling for three. When you cycle it, put a First Strike counter on target creature you control. A rare Hunted Nightmare. When it enters the battlefield, target opponent puts a Death Touch counter on a creature they control. Uh. Oh, because it only costs three. Um, okay. That's fine. Not a card I'm excited about running. Well, okay. That is the entire unboxing. Maybe instead of doing another video, I'll just tell people to cut to the end if they just want to see the rares and mythics that we ended up pulling. Hunted Nightmare. I guess I'll separate the triomes over here. Uh, Frontland Felandar, and I'll put the Mythoses here. Crystalline Giant, Death's Oasis, Sturge Bat, Titan's Nest, Skartax Sovereign, Shark Typhoon, another Mythos, a Lutri, the Ketria Triome, Slither, Wisp, Kogla, the Titan Ape, Geruda, Doom of Depths, Extinction Event, another Mythos, the Ultimatums can go here, the Ozolith, another Triome, the Cyclone, uh, the Karuga, another Triome, another Mythos, this guy, a, a Yadaro, and an Offsprings, Revenge. Okay, so we got four of the Mythoses, so that's really cool. For the Triomes, I ended up with two Jeskai, a Teemer, a Sultai, and this one that I can't remember, Plain Swamp Forest. Um... Goodness gracious, for the life of me. I cannot remember that combination. Got two of the ultimatums, Eerie and Genesis Ultimatum. Um, and then, yeah, uh, things that I'm most excited about, probably out of the rares, Ozolith, Extinction Event, Geruda, Doom of Depths, Co uh, King Kong, um, Lutri, maybe for a 60-card deck or something, Sharknado, um, Titan's Nest seems very qu very good. Um, yeah. Alright, let's stack all those up again. Alright, and then... Last but not least, let's go through our Mythics. Nethroi, Apex of Death. Winota, Joiner of Forces. Snapdex, Apex of the Hunt. A Luminous Broodmoth. A Riel, the Everwise, and another... Snapdax, Apex of the Hunt. I'm very happy to pull the Luminous Behemoth. Or, <laughs> oh my goodness. Excuse me, the Luminous Brood Moth. Very exciting. Also, the Winota, great. I think the Nathroi comes in the con Commander Precon, so that's fine. Um, maybe I'll sell it or something, who knows. Uh, really great effect. And then uh, this Riel I'm pretty excited about, too. Um, for that deck where I get to play Solitaire and cycle all my stuff. But, um, until I run, mill myself or something. But, uh, yeah. So, that was the box opening. Thank you so much for watching. I know this dragged on for a long time. It was my first video. I'm not even sure if this is going to make it up <laughs> onto YouTube or anything like that. But, um, this was Asian Persuasion, but you can just call me David. And that's a wrap. Thank you.